Good morning, I'm the Traveling Wizard and welcome to Aspindos, where you don't have to spend a lot of money to come here. I'm in Turkey. It's beautiful here. I can't lie. It's olive trees and you can smell the jasmine. The sun is just blue skies, perfect weather. It's just fantastic here. I love Turkey. I can't say enough good things about Turkey. Anyway, today I'm going to go see one of the what is considered to be one of the best Roman Colosseums in the world. Now, if you're like me, I used to think it was just one Colosseum, the one in Rome. Uh, they're all over the place. And uh, some of them are in really good condition. Some of them not so good condition. This one is supposed to be one of the best. So let's have a look. Let's cut away to our drone. Okay, it's not really a drone. Shh. Well, I won't lie, I feel like I got gypped a little bit. It looks like only half a Colosseum. I expected a whole one, like in Rome, but this one looks like sort of a half deal. It's uh, in really good condition. The seats look like they're, uh, a lot of them are original, and the original facade is in really good shape. Uh, we're gonna go down and have a look at it. see that it was a pretty great city it's really kind of cool in the fact that it's a little overgrown so it's not squeaky clean like some ruins it's got that really ruined look probably weren't very interested in history when you're growing up and you had to learn about things in school and I think the problem is that it's just there's too much to learn and you don't have any kind of point, like a, some sort of thing to relate it to. When you're talking, you're talking about Mycenaeans and Romans and Greeks and, uh, and things like that, you know, who, who can tell the difference? Who knows what they look like? Who cares? Nobody. But when you come and you visit places like this and you see the things that belong to them and you see the houses they lived in, you see what's left of the statues and the gods they worship, it means a whole lot more and it's a lot easier to keep it straight. So I think that one of the greatest gifts that you can give a kid or even yourself in education is through travel. And that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, hey, take back what I said. This place is beautiful. It really is nice. Uh, seeing it from up on top does not do it justice. Beautiful facade. This is set up so nicely. The seats are in this great condition. This whole outer rim here is just pristine. Next stop is Duden Waterfalls. So what kind of place is Duden Waterfalls, you ask? That's a very good question, but I can hear it. It's coming up. Reminds me of a little bit of Schlitterbahn. It's got a cave down there and it's kind of like a, like a family park or something. Okay, this is a cenote. Clean and simple, it's a cenote in Turkey. So if you ever want to see what the back of a waterfall looks like, this is what it is. Okay, so I've done four sets of ruins. I've done the eternal fires. I've done the 
walking around the city, and now I feel like it's R and R time. A lot of people think that Turkey is a real sort of hardcore fundamentalist Islamic place, which it's not. And so today I'm going to do a little bar hopping and show you what the bars of Turkey are like. Now this one here, probably not a good example. I'm the only one here. The internet doesn't work. They do have a good Ephes beer, which uh, I highly recommend. It's named after the town of Ephes, which isn't anywhere close. And we have a beach here. We got all the basic ingredients, but we're missing a little bit of mojo. So, in this video, I'm going to I don't want to commit to a certain number, but I'm going to say I'm going to go to at least a few bars and show you what they're like here in Turkey. So stick around on this edition of The Traveling Wizard, Getting Drunk. Okay, I think I'm wrong about the bars here in Turkey. That's uh, strike three. I've been in the first one, the internet doesn't work, nothing works. The second one doesn't exist. The third one is only open at night. They're a fish place right now. It doesn't look anything like an Irish pub at all. It looks like a fish place. So, I think I'm going to go back to the old town and try that.